The murderer is one of you. When Death on the Nile opens in China, it'll be a rare event. It's harder than ever. China is now the largest movie marketplace in the world, but many of last year's biggest films were never released there. Like Spider-Man No Way Home, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Black Widow, all titles that did not get into China. What's changed? In 2018, China's central propaganda department took over regulation and censorship. That means fewer Hollywood movies and only those that follow a strict set of rules. The Chinese Communist Party sees film as a vehicle for um, the development of cultural self-confidence, is what they call it. Now Chinese studios are producing lavish nationalistic war films, feel-good family films, and crowd-pleasing sequels, all with blockbuster-sized profits. The new shift hurts more than Disney's bottom line. It's also affecting Canadian filmmakers. In 2013, Sidney Chu helped make the Vancouver shot Finding Mr. Right a smash hit in China. We fast forward to today, and there's certainly, you know, situations between our governments that are not the best of uh, relationships too. And the rumblings and the grumblings from myself and all my colleagues in China is that uh, uh, we've got to kind of lay low for 10 years before we could probably approach um, our uh, films. While the increasing tension between China and the West is worrying. I find it kind of scary, if anything. You know, I don't want to live in a world where we don't have any sort of cultural overlap. In China. Director I mean, I Young Cheng is determined. It drives the way I want to tell stories, and it's, it's a place that I, as a Chinese, uh, you know, person, I feel uh, so close to. Oh, oh. And as the challenges of working with China increase, experts say the potential payoff is simply too great to ignore. Eli Glaster, CBC News. Toronto.